Are you gonna leave the music in? No. Oh, you're gonna just <laughs> take out the music? You're gonna edit out the music? You're gonna edit it out? Okay, okay. Daisy, we're making a movie. Oh my god, it was recording the whole time. Was it? Okay, so do a clap to adjust so you can line up the audio. With this? This doesn't start it. I gotta screen record this. Oh. I haven't. What? No, well. Well, that yeah. doesn't work for what we're doing, does it? it? That's, that's if we have lapel mics. I mean, no, no, you can still do it. Can I do it? <laughs> yeah. You can still do it though, like when you, right when you hit play. That's right, I do. So I, say, I say, hit, I'm hitting play right now, and then I do that. No, let's do the clap. That's better. <laughs> okay, we'll do the clap. Record. <laughs> you all right? You ready? You all right over there? Right. Now! They it started. We nailed it. Clap! How do you know it's recording? Oh, and like, oh it's when we press play. Is this, are you sure it's recording? It's recording the screen. Yeah, I can see it up here. You gotta start it at the beginning. We don't need to watch the intro, do we? we like well, no, we'll watch the intro. It's just silent. It takes oh, like... Well, I don't want to listen to Johnny Rotten talk. We are listening to Johnny Rotten talk. When was the last time you watched this? The whole video? Just any of it. Uh, I mean, I periodically watch it because this has my favorite part in it. Your favorite parts in this video? Jeff Raleigh. No, Ardo's. It is a really good part because you love David Bowie. So it's just going to be silent. All right, guys. I'm returning All right, guys. YouTube. Dale's back at YouTube. This is his return to the YouTube I'm returning. Video. That, so uh, obviously, he's the thumbnail. You guys are probably wondering so <laughs> much where I've been and why I stopped filming with Powell. Why I quit the Powell team, actually. I was sponsored. <laughs> but we should go with that for the title. <laughs> yeah. And you know I'll put the sorry video playing in like the tiniest little box in the corner. Wait. What? So we're not going to be able to listen to it? I thought no. you were going to edit it out. I'm, I'm not going to be able to edit it out, the sound of this, because oh. this is recording. Yeah, it's going to be silent. No way. Yeah. Dude. We don't need to watch any of this. That's what I was saying in the beginning. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> it, yeah, like not hearing like the, the studio song is definitely pretty wild. <laughs> dude, I turn the good, audio on. I can't. No, because it'll yeah, get demonetized. Can, dude, you make like eighty thousand dollars a month from YouTube. You can upload one video. If I ever months. made eighty thousand dollars in one month, I would retire from whatever I was doing. Let's just let's just get. You want to get in here? No. Okay, let's just get to the first part. I fucking hate Johnny Rotten. I remember thinking it was so cool that he was in this video because I knew who he was, and I was like, oh, they got this rebellious guy in the video. But now that I'm like an adult and see that he's just an idiot. Well, since we can't hear it. Oh, that'll help. Yeah. Yeah, let's not see it either. <laughs> I haven't seen this in a really long time, so it's going to be more shocking for me to like see how well it holds up to like the modern day skating. Like if these parts came out on Thrasher right now. Your fucking stupid light is creating a glare. How do you turn this to the brightest thing? What? Oh my god. Dan has brightness down to like zero. They're literally going to be able to see the light I come up that it was like halfway up. I couldn't see shit, dude. Okay, so we're, we're 15 minutes into this video. Nothing's happened yet. Yeah. We're, Mark Appleyard's part's happening right now. He just jumped a speed bump. I'll, t I'll tell you guys what's going on. Since yeah. You guys, <laughs> since you guys can't see the screen. <laughs> yes, they can. They'll be, but you'll see it like down here. Or oh, yeah. No, we're down there. We're seeing. Oh, we're going to be down there? Yeah, I think so. No? What do you think should be? God damn, that was such a gnarly sack. I remember trying to kick with my feet closer together like that because he did that. My uh, one, like my friends when I first started skating, I don't really believe this to be true, but <laughs> they used to tell me like, "Oh my god, dude, your style's so relaxed. It's like Mark Alpine." <laughs> you did not have friends. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the sick boost board ad. <laughs> Fabian's making a comeback. This is probably. Wait, is that him? No. What's Fabian's last name? Cariumas. Is that is this Fabian? Dude, there's no way. You have to leave this ad. Uh, no, I am for sure. <laughs> is that him? <laughs> no. Oh. Man, I miss him. Do you? Yeah. He has some crazy stories. Yeah, he does. I just remember him being like, all the American girls want to call me daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're like, what? That's crazy. That's on my channel if you guys want to go dig through my channel and find that. Yeah, totally. I'll put the links. <laughs> I'll put the link in his bio. Yeah, dude, put the link. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, no, my friends really did say that, though, and it, and it like, went to my head. Is that why you never bothered getting good style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I bo never bothered to fake my style. Sick. Because I was like, damn, I already have good fake style. <laughs> <laughs> that hubbub before that's in Orlando, and it's not even possible to get Not Orlando, Miami. It's, like, the only spot there. Where's that? Yeah, I think it was in France or Barcelona, and I remember thinking, like, if that spot was still there, so much oh, that's stuff the, would be done. That led... That's the mail pad spot. Yeah. Yeah, but it used to have angle iron all the way. Oh, it still does. It's, it's in, just skate stop now. It's in Whittier or Anaheim or something. And that rail's still there, but it's round now, and no one skates it. Why? I don't know, because it's probably gnarly or something. I don't you know. should ask them. 
I should. I should ask every skater why they don't skate that anymore. Damn, dude, he was really cool. <laughs> he probably is still really cool, but I don't know. I dabble, dude. What do you mean? Is that gold? So that, I guess is I'm... that gold rail, dude? No, gold rail's in DC. That's that was in, that rail's in Australia. That rail's fake. Barcelona. Just beat Steve Bear to it. The most core video ever, and they have fake rails in it. Damn, Daisy. Look, you guys, Daisy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just picked her up and she freaked out. Daisy's a big so Alex Chalmers stand, That's and okay. we were talking about launch outs negatively earlier, and she's just bitter about it. Daisy doesn't like when your her stomach is touched. My foot's in the way. I can't see. Can you move it? Did your foot? It's... See, she just growled at me and then kissed me. I, I feel like I'm just going to end up watching the video, and you're just going to pet the dog. No, no, no. I'm but, watching no, the video. Let's, let's... That's in Australia, right? <laughs> you can say that with every <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, though. Yeah, I think it is, too. <laughs> I feel like the biggest difference between older videos and newer videos is holding grinds is like way more common now. Like people could like sit on like longer down rails, but no one was sitting on long grinds. Wait till Ardo's part comes on. He, he, he does. Grinds. I rewatched those lines. Uh, Blake Nostalgia, I think, posted those mirror, it. I, those mirror lines. I was so much less impressed than I was back then. I remember thinking it was the sickest stuff now, and now I watch it and I'm like, I actually think I could do those lines. It wouldn't look like Ardo. Dude, really? I, I, I feel like I watch a lot of older videos and I'm like, damn, they were doing all that back then. Like. Like, I mean, we're seeing a lot of, like, kickflip back lips and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or even, like, kickflip back tail. Like, that stuff isn't necessarily less difficult than, like, a kickflip back smith, but it's just different of what tricks were popular back then versus now. I disagree. I think I think we're doing harder tricks now than we were, were back then, because all the alley-oop stuff's really popular. Don't get me wrong. Like, you're still going to see clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying, like, in general or even in contest but i just it wasn't a lot of this stuff was super fucking hard i mean we, we talked about this yesterday like skating's kind of less gnarlier now that's what i mean yeah i feel like the filler of skate videos hasn't changed up that yeah that looks insane the filler of skate videos hasn't gone up that much but i think the bangers or at least the difficulty of like the enders have gone up a lot <coughs> i mean look at I this kickflip back 5 and now i think you put these as ender on clipper Think about what got done on that last Clipper session. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that right there is a good judge for, like, the progression of what's been going on. That's true, but I guess I just mean, like, I don't know. You'll just see people do flip tricks down, like, random gaps that, are, that aren't that are really that much bigger or even yeah. not even as big of, in videos like this. Uh, right? No, that's, I think gap skating really did plateau in, like, 2008 or nine. And there's only been a couple, you, people had to get more funky with their flip tricks, yeah. doing like switch back 360 kickflips down stuff to even, because it's like, other than Jocelyn 360 flipping or sticking 360 flip out down Altoro, there's been very small jumps ahead in like the biggest front side flip, which is Tommy Sandoval, that's probably going to stand for another million years. Biggest straight flip is still Chris Jocelyn. Biggest Has anyone front side flip Davis Gap? Uh, I think, uh, whatchamacallit, tried it, um, who's Canadian? Uh, brothers, Descendo. Oh, Descendo tried it. But, like, I still think the biggest kickflip ever done is probably El Toro. Oh, oh no, actually, that one in. Uh... You think Davis Gap is smaller than El Toro? I don't think so. Do uh, no, you're, no, yeah, I do. Definitely. I don't know. Davis Gap is definitely. Think about the tricks that have been done down each of them. Davis Gap's longer, but El Toro is massive. I think the set in Colorado that that one kid kickflip would be the biggest kickflip, though. The one where you, like, land in there's the water right there. Should we leave this out in your tier two? No. Oh, I just did a brand deal with these people that I never actually put out. I need to put that Do out. they pay you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yikes. <laughs> this Oof. was the vert button part for... Well, this Cancel. End, <laughs> this end. <laughs> for what? <laughs> for, uh, we'd skip this part and we'd skip Charm skip Charmer's part. A this lot, is but. peak uh, jackass era. Yeah. You would skip this part? I would. What, the first, well, the first time... I, well, he do, he lands like nine hours. They're all can care that much. Well, I can't put that in. I gotta, I gotta cut out a clip in Ali Bilal's part of no, it. No, no, you just blur it. Just blur <laughs> I'm it. not blurring. I'm just gonna cut that clip out. Just put text over it. And then just put text that says butthole. <laughs> okay, I'll do <laughs> That's that. That's funny. No, it's not. <laughs> that sucks. He threw his dog down the mini ramp. I'm not putting that in the video. This part's awful. It's pretty gnarly. Dude. I gotta cut a bunch of this stuff out. This shit was like... Pitch trunks was wack. This was childhood hero shit though, back then. It is crazy that we did mythologize this. I remember thinking like all the dumb stuff they did was I think cool. The word is idolized. This is the best we thing. Mythologized? Part. Yeah, we mythologized this. Yeah, mythologize. <laughs> we were like, oh these We were like, oh we, 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 fucking It was a myth that Neptune was Neptune cool. is fighting Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That was a good line.
Maybe I'll have a different perspective on this part. I just remember being like, there's a lot of crazy stuff like this right here. He ollied off of the curb. <laughs> yeah, that's like, come on. I mean, the only thing that makes this stuff gnarly is that he's doing it on like a seven seven five. He does some like that stick. And Dude, you're shitting stick. on him so hard. Well, the part well, I'm just saying by what this is what people thought even back then. He was like the original. <laughs> <laughs> he was the original. He was the original sponsored skater by like. Being like an influencer. Don't get me wrong. Props where props is due. That he tries to ollie really big. <laughs> the, Damn. Like, the most memorable thing he ever did was not land an ollie. That's all I'm saying. Dude, an influencer shitting on an OG <laughs> influencer? Come on. You're right, dude. I gotta give him my flowers. That was sick, dude. Yeah, like, he stopped like five minutes. He paved the way for you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Shout out Ollie Balala. <laughs> <laughs> I, the Switch channel slide on that rail is really sick. But it's like, dude, it's not... I thought it went back to Switch. You know he the did, switch tail he did two switch. switch tail slides back to back in this part. There's... I freak, I watched it dip. That was sick. There's, that is really sick. <laughs> yeah. He did that. Yeah, he was on his Braille shit right there. Ollie Walala fucking scooter so Braille could run. There's a Chris Hyatt trick. Yeah. There's a Bam Margera trick. A 360 hippie jump? Oh, uh, Chris Shando's That was kind of crazy. <laughs> that was <laughs> not... That was like... That was no, like it was crazy that that was in his park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a couple of them, but then like he was one of those guys who could like do really gnarly stuff, but he never like got good at skating. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Because like know. people like Bam Margera could like do some shit. Like Bam Margera could like switch back tail and stuff like that. Like I think Bam's under. I feel like they're on the same level. No, Bam's way better at skateboarding than Ollie was. I mean, I think he's just wasted in all these clips. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. He's super personality. I hope it's still recording. Uh, Drea! That, there's a switch tail back to switch. That's my favorite trick in this part. Is it still recording? Switch, switch, switch Smith? Yeah, that's going cool. on. Nope. Oh, Steve. No, it's not? Oh, yeah, it is. You to Steve Did you Bear? stop it? No, I didn't. You want to Steve Bear a fake rail? See, like, who cares? Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. That switch 5 out of fakey? No, it's the 180 right. drag your foot down the side of it. Now I'm really oh, shitting on him right now. I used to love that trick. I did that. I, in, every skate park cover, I would. I did that down the skate closet 12 when I was like 14. That's sick. I bet you were so sick. Did you like crawl down it or did you do it like. like oh, no, no, no. Style? I did it down the 9. What oh, I did, okay. I 5 out of fakey the. The 12. Oh, like 5 out front 180? Yeah. That's yeah, sick. Yeah. You were allowed to tail drag back then? Yeah. I miss all the Nolly Home No slides from back in the day. And People still do them. Slides. There's still a lot of that. Not like it was, though. Dude, that's a cool... I feel like that's a cool thing. Nolly Hill No Slides is like a cool thing? Yeah. I don't know. No Slides are sick. I, I'm a huge No Slides fan. No Slide on Round Bar is like one of my favorite things. That's I think that's technically cool. his ender. And then the trick that everyone remembers, though. This second angle where he lands straight like it. I forget what the injuries that he sustained during this stunt was, but it like wasn't that bad. Like I think he just like messed his hip up or something. Did Jaws Ollie? He grabbed Melon. Okay. Yeah, so Ollie's still open. That one guy though, that Aurelian Gerard guy on Plan B, he tried to Ollie it for a YouTube Aurelian video. Aurelian Gerard? Sure. I think that's his name. <laughs> you don't know. He tried to Ollie that for El Toro. Uh, YouTube. For El Toro. <laughs> tried to Ollie that. <laughs> he tried to, <laughs> he tried to Ollie He was like, shout out El Toro. El it's a 25, but yeah, he stuck it like three times and he didn't do it though. Dude, but, the Dern brothers should go there and Ollie it. They should go there and talk about someone not Ollie it. They should go there and Ollie it. Oh, actually, Duran, he gets pretty hot. Actually, both of those brothers. Duran? Isn't that his name? Wait, no, Dalton. Duran? The Duran, Duran. Yeah, Duran, Duran. Duran, Duran. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? Stuntman. This is Alex Chalmers, Canadian. Oh, yeah. What happened to him? He's Canadian. What's you mean, dude? You're racist. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Ask Ben when he gets out here. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, Hell yeah. Shit. This is gnarlier than the video. Is this, uh, what's your name? What's Ricky Glosser's girlfriend's name? Uh, I don't remember. I'm leaving that in the video. <laughs> He's on fire. Damn, dude, this is like peak Big Brother Jackass era. Big Brother was the Jackass never lined up. Jackass is Big Brother's replacement. He did, dude. His you know, I know, but I'm saying, like, oh. Big Brother, CKY, Jackass. Like, all that stuff was, like, going on, mm -hmm. and people put it in the same thing as. I want to compare what, like, I see here to, like, stuff that I see, like, like, Matthew do. Why? Because he's also Canadian? Matthew's a, not a Canadian at all. 
No, because they're both like transition guys. Well, this is, he's like a different <clears throat> kind of transition skater though. Like he literally he's has He's literally a fly out guy. He, no, he does like that's brute. He does a lot of stuff in this part that's <coughs> pretty super legitimate. Like that, that's fucked up. All this transfer scene. I've never even been there. Have you been there? Where is that, Dan? It's in Canada. Is it Kona? Yeah, it's in Kenodia. Kona 2012. <laughs> 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 can, I, can I leave that in? Yeah, why not? Oh, you're right. What, someone's gonna say, oh my god, he said that. <laughs> yeah. No, he said that. At least six, maybe twelve. Oh, you're quoting him. I thought you were gonna say this. Now. I, I could quote this entire video. I've seen this video so many times. You just said I haven't seen it in a long time. I've no, seen I've seen it a million times. I just haven't seen it in a long time. That was a really good switch. I said, but... Yeah, both of these can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He's stalling on nothing. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Is it? Is that pretty crazy, Dan? I mean, kind of. I don't know. I think it's I'm, I'm kind of eating my words right now when I was like, oh, everything was so crazy back then. Right? A like, bit. I feel like a lot of this does hold up. Like, some of the tricks will hold up. A lot of Appleyard's part, I think, would be like an am dude coming out. But it wouldn't, those tricks wouldn't make it in like a part that everyone part, would talk about. I think Appleyard's part holds up. Do you think that if Appleyard's part... Think, okay, maybe not for this part. Let's watch, I think, Raleigh's next. Watch Raleigh's part as if it's a sponsoring video. Yeah. All the same spots. Think of it in that terms. Like, if this, no, it's Bastion's part next, actually. His part is fucked. His part's really fucked. Yeah. I already know that. Especially if you take his age into consideration. He's 15 at the time. Yeah. Uh, he's currently passing himself off as French at the moment. Oh, no, that's always Bulala. What is he? He's from the Congo. That influenced I didn't, every I took, kid. I took, that. I took everything Johnny Ron said in this video for a grain of salt. Like, I didn't believe it. You took it for a grain of salt? Okay, so you keep it from border rail, gnarly back left row. That's, that's pretty fun. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. That's a gnarly trick. That was, he did like, really good. I would argue would you? that gnarly back lip and gnarly back nose blunt are equally as crazy. I think gnarly back nose blunt's really impressive. Gnarly back lip, I don't think is impressive. I suck at them. But, like, I mean, especially on flat bars, it's one of the cheapest ways to get onto a flat bar. I think if you can do both tricks and you do both of them down, like, Hollywood 16, I think I think they're just equally as gnarly. I think That's crazy. Yeah, but here's, yeah, my, here's my theory, though. Because I think because nose blunt is generically thought to be a more difficult trick, because it is, like, harder that you have to get your nose over the backside of a ledge when you do back lift. It's only one truck. Back nose blunt is two truck. But... Nollying into anything where you remain on the nose is easier than actually doing those tricks regular because you don't have to bring your entire board over. When you're in a nollie position, you're already you're already set up and you're already in that position. I completely disagree. I think nollie nose one on both regular or front side and back side is significantly gnarlier than nollie lip slides or nollie boards. I guess be nollie lips. You can get in here. I think I think they're both just I think they're both just as gnarly because. So you think that if you saw someone gnarly lip Hollywood sixteen, just a regular no, gnarly no, no, lip, no, no, no. My skate brain would be like, oh wow, he gnarly back nose wanted that. That's like super gnarly. But if I saw gnarly back lip, I would still be like, re I don't think I'd be very impressed by gnarly back lip. I would just because it's like that's such a blindside trick. No, it's gnarly, but I, I think by like today's standards of the other tricks that go down on that rail, like half cab backsmith and stuff like that, gnarly lip wouldn't even show up on my, on my radar. Yeah, I don't I mean, think someone would like, use it in a park. I feel like what I'm saying right now is definitely a hot take, and I, everyone's definitely going to disagree with me. But well, that's not that's not a hot take. That's a wrong take. That's an incorrect <laughs> okay. take. All right, I'm going to call this video. Dale Becker comes back to get. Why'd you skip the MGK ad? <laughs> is that who that was? Yeah. <laughs> it's a rapper, skater, right? skater Machine trainer. Gun Kelly. That was Skater Trainers with MGK. Oh, what shit, the dude. fuck? Kind of sick. That was the craziest. Wait, was it really? That was the craziest thing of so far that's happened while watching this video. Wait, was it actually? MGK yeah. was doing an ad for Skater Trainers. Maybe he skates. I don't know. Can we go back on a rail to fakie? That's pretty In a line. Yeah, no, this part's good. This is also when people started really doing kickflip from crooks. I don't remember people starting, started doing that until, like, kind of recently. Well, Mark Appiard's Ender was on that one fucking rail. Yeah, but the like, Davis rail, but, but, actually. But people didn't do them as like a pro qualifier like they are now. It, now it's like yeah. a qualifying trip. Like, yeah. It's the kickflip back tail of like everyone kickflip back tail back then. And like now it's everyone does like kickflip front crooks. And I'll loop to grind stuff. This big foot front board, I don't think it was the craziest thing in his part. And looking at it now, he did everything else that he did in his part was legitimately not like. Now the heel back lift is pretty fucked. Yeah, I just think Nolly back lift is even like one yeah. trick. He does it back to four or two, right? Yeah, he did it twice. Like Nolly back lift is more blind than Nolly back nose blind. 
I completely disagree. I think it. I think it is because you have to get both feet on each side of the truck, and it's just like so much sackable shit. Where it puts your body weight is fucking insane. Nolly back nose blunt. You can kind of pretend that you're doing nolly back over crook and then slip in a nose blunt. At least I'm using the same logic from for front side. Because like nolly nose grind and nolly nose blunt down handrails are easier than their basic counterpart. Say the one time Nolly Nose went down a handrail is easier than Nolly Nose went on a flat bar? Is that what you're saying? No, Nolly Nose went down a handrail is easier than Nose went down a handrail. I agree, but... Yeah, no, I, I disagree, but I see you're a Nollier, so that makes sense for you. Um, what I'm saying is, if, you, if, you, if you're comparing lip to Nose though, there's, there's no comparison. Lip's way easier. Like, cause, I'm, not you, saying, you I'm, not saying, I'm not saying... I'm not, uh, what are you saying, Dale? Because it sounds like you are saying no, that I'm kinda, I'm... I'm not saying that it's necessarily easier. I'm saying there is equally gnarly. I'm re I'm backpedaling. Okay, so you're saying that they're equally as gnarly, but n n wait, let's hold on. Let's watch the swatch movie real quick. We just got it in. Okay, we'll table this. Wow. Okay, back to this. <laughs> Let the, do you have you ever done an ollie back in this one? No. But I'm saying if I could, and you, like, took me to Hollywood 16, or someone... Like, hypothetically, if you could do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I saying you could do it? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying I think they're both equally as gnarly down a rail like Hollywood 16. I hope all the comments are just like... They probably will. Yeah. I, I already said, like, this is a hot take that everyone's probably going to disagree with. Yeah, no, it's... I think nollie back lip is pretty gnarly. I've done one nollie back nose one on a flat bar before, and I used to be able to do them on the America benches, like working they had a divot, but I would do it straight over the back. Yeah. And both, like, nollie back lips are easy to do, and I suck at nollie back lips. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, on a handrail, like, I don't know, like, I can see, I don't know. I would, I would almost argue I'm open nollie to nose blunt and front nose blunt down handrails are, are really close to being just as gnarly as each other. Like, when I saw nollie nose blunt down at Altaro. I think nose blunt's gnarlier. To me, they're like they're very close. I think the only thing that makes Nolly frontside nose blunt gnarlier in someone's mind is the fact that you add the element of Nolly. But that's how well, top tricks work. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of dumb because a nose <laughs> a nose blunt. No, listen. I'm listening. A frontside listening. nose blunt is technically, I think, harder because you have to ollie up and get the entire board over to the other side of the rail. When you nolly into it, you're already in nose blunt position, so all you do is kind of float over to the other side rather than bringing the board up, then back down and repositioning it. There's less mechanics going on. I think there's mm. less adjustment of body weight, and you're already in a sweet spot, which is why I always say like nolly front ropes are easier to sit on. But as far as getting up onto the rail, this isn't a I video disagree. review. This is us critiquing like <laughs> we're talking about nolly, nolly. Yeah, why? I don't. That's fine. I don't, I don't really. I just wanted to watch a video and talk about skating. That was the whole point. Uh, and see if anything jumped out at us. Which clearly we can't even can pass the, yeah. the nolly back lip, nolly back nose blunt argument. I forget where I was going with that. Let's watch Jeff Rowley's part. Wait, that was the rail that's in... Yep. But there's yep. dirt on the side. Yeah. Right there. Now to our uh, bank. Well, now it's skate stop too. Hell yeah. <clears throat> I already see the comments. Dan, get a premium. Society of the Snow. I should get paid for these ads too. Because they have to watch them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like front big spin board side on that rail. Like, if anyone that's did that, a cool trick. Yeah, that was a cool trick. But if anyone did that on all the pal sessions, like it wouldn't get saved. Like we just throw it on YouTube or throw it on Instagram. Yeah. There's a lot of tricks that would just end up on Instagram these days. <clears> but like, not even the top dudes. Like I feel like there's some like flow primitive guys that could do like a ton of this stuff. Don't get me wrong. Like the big difference is these were the first people doing it, and they were setting the bar there. And there, okay, so these, why this is, is why. Why is like what's cool in skating? right now to be like bad at skating <laughs> i don't <laughs> well, i don't like, think it's about being bad at skating i think aesthetics is more so the most important part now like it's there was such a, a cope dude a cope yeah like they're cope what are they coping with like i don't like not I, jumping on handrails because i feel like it's like a cop-out to be like i don't know like i don't want to try gnarly stuff and i'm afraid so i'll put on cool pants I disagree. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with, like, the fashion aspect of, like, it is pretty funny on how the way someone dresses can really, it seems to really, like, well, no, I wouldn't even say that. I wouldn't even go there. I'm not even going to bother saying that. I was going to, because what I was going to say actually doesn't add up in my head when I think about it. <clears throat> Why? Are you afraid to touch it because it might be a sensitive subject? No, it's not a sensitive subject. Oh. I think I'm just being correct. Okay. 
I mean, I'm been super impressed so far. Yeah, I know. And I want, <laughs> I want you to keep, keep, keep that. Come on, let me dig, let me dig my hole. Yeah. That looks big. Yeah, I always want to go to that spot. You can skate like a gap the manual. Spot. I would skate it like a modern day skater. I wouldn't do it gnarly. I'm just gonna yeah. get at the man. No, you'd ride up the bank and then just ollie up the curb. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm quick foot. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. See, the cool thing about this spot is like the entry. But we're gonna skate like a manual. Pad. <laughs> well, I, I, I think it's just like people. You see a I get it. People yeah. got bored of like hucking and they got bored of all this stuff. But yeah. also, all of us that got bored of that, we're all thirty now. Yeah. So like. The younger kids can't be bored because they haven't even seen it. They don't even know what Fully Flared is. They know what Fully Flared is. They just Dude, don't care. I went to a fucking skate park like a few years ago uh -huh. and asked some like 14-year-old kids if they've <laughs> seen Fully Flared. And like... Just the fact that this happens really fun for me. Continue. Dude, I was probably with you. You asked a, a kid... I just asked kid, a group of kids. I was like, yeah, have you guys seen Fully Flared? They're like, no, what's that? I was like, god damn, I'm old already. Well, they're all going to see it when we do part two, fully flared in 2020. Fully flared, but no audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, calm down, Jeff. Motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he, like, vegan at this point? And then, like, the next video party went the complete opposite direction and started, like, hunting big game? Dude, he did, like, yeah. He did a full 180. Full pendulum swing. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess I am kind of eating my words because a lot of this, like that rail's been fucked up. Chima knows right a bit, right? Yeah, it got yeah. front feeble, back smith, by the, the, yeah. the Zuran brothers did a video about it. Yeah. I, it was, it was, they showed, I didn't know that it got 5 would I forget, it was Dane Berman who 5 would it. Yeah, it's fucked. I think it's a cool concept for doing YouTube videos. Like just going to a spot and reviewing everything. Like Their videos are cool. Yeah, they're really nostalgic. They're fun. Yeah, they are fun. They're, they're like doing... They're filling a void that's that has recently been created that there's a lot of like there's for. I, I feel like Thrasher did that one thing, like these old ledges or whatever it was called, with uh, Ted Burroughs or Barrows, or how you say his name? Feedback. Yeah, yeah, the thing with feedback. And it's like they're doing like the gnarly <laughs> version instead of like the San Francisco version. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. That always was crazy to me. Like where they showed like the chunks missing out of the hub and yeah. anyways. Also, it always bothered me that back three wasn't the ender and barrel heel was, but now I understand. When I saw it back then, I was like, barrel heel is way less gnarly, uh, that's, but, that's, but so back three's easy for everyone. Okay, now. that's my argument, though. Like, my argument is that, my whole argument, the concept oh. I'm trying to talk about with nollie back lip and nollie back nose one is the fact that, like, um, when there's, like, a trick can be gnarlier simply because, like, oh, he spun 360, he spun the whole 360 degrees and a varial heel is just a flip in one spin so like you if you put it on a scale you can argue the back three is crazier but like there's i would argue that there's more mechanics involved going on in a varial heel than the board comes off your feet and, blah, 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 blah. and kids that back three fucking can do it on everything and that's what i'm saying yeah if you can like nolly back nose blunt like i kind of do agree with you now like nolly back nose blunt is i do see what you're saying yeah the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the gap that's between a nollie crook and a regular crook is n is way bigger than the gap between a nollie nose blunt and a regular nose blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fully agree with that. I yeah. think the nollie nose blunt is not much harder than a regular nose blunt. But when it comes to backside nose blunt specifically, the gap gets a lot bigger. Frontside nose blunt, I think they're really close. Like, stupid close. Backside nose blunt, I think not back nollie backside nose blunt's fucked up. It puts your body weight in a weird spot. Yeah. You, you're very blindsided. You almost, like, stand up. Too, you stand back too far when you try them. Yeah. But I literally, when I did it, I did it exactly like you described it. I just kept aiming for an alley back over crooks and intentionally tried to over rotate at the last second. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all an alley nose is. Yeah. Well, people can like sit on that stuff now, though. Like, yeah. People like they get in it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just, I just that clip of Bastion Nolly or whoever the fuck that was that Nolly back lifted that giant rail. Like, yeah, no, that's really sick. Because they got yeah. on at the fucking top. Like thinking yeah. about that is so crazy to me. Like yeah. you're. And they, they landed the fakie, right? Mm -hmm. In whatever clip that was. But then, dude, just being blindsided like that, both feet on each opposite side you of the rail. You just the video there, and it's concrete now. I don't know. It just seems fucking so hard. Anyway. You, you just pointed out something kind of interesting to me that I didn't even think about for right now. I think it's funny that Nolly frontside nose blunt and regular nose blunt is not that big of a difference. Or Nolly, well, no, I take it backwards. I was going to say. I think it is a big difference. I don't think that way. back lip or, I, don't, I think that back lip is way less gnarly than nollie back lip. You think back lip is less gnarly? I think back lip is way less gnarly than nollie back lip down a handrail. 
Or a flat bar. That's not that because that's more weighted than Nolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. But front lip, I think Nolly front lip lift is almost easier than regular front lip because you're like already there. That's where I kind of agree with that logic. This video is just us talking about Nolly lips. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nolly lip slides debunked. <laughs> We're <not> watching. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, I gotta rewatch all these old parts just because, like that rant. So he just poured concrete on top of all that. He didn't tear it down. It's just that with concrete. Oh, that was fucked. Oh, it was Bob. Makes sense. I do really like this bird part, though. I remember he does like a is it a nolly half cab heel or flip that he does above coping without grabbing like stupid far up. Did you watch, did parents. you watch bird parts when you were a kid? Yeah, I didn't comprehend them though. Now I can. Like, I've rewatched Burt parts, like, within the last, like, six years to where I actually understand what's going on. Back then, I was like, oh, a, a, you know, a kick flip indie is the same as a heel flip indie because you're in the air for so long. Now I actually understand the actual difference of the ollie oop and the flip tricks into grinds. Like, switch flip back crook is pretty fucked up on that. Is that fakey? Yeah. No, that was Jake Brown. I guess just the thing that makes a trick gnarly to me is what all I'm trying to get at is, mm -hmm. like, the mechanics involved. Like, if if you can do a trick easier switch or gnarly, then it's not switch or gnarly. No, that just makes it less gnarly or less gnarly to me. If the regular version's harder for you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Like seeing Sammy Baptista do like, like the fact that tricks. I used to gnarly nose grind everything is was kind of like a cop out for a gnarly trick because it was easy for me and nose grind on like a steeper rail would be harder because you have to go up and then down gnarly. You're already down. Mm. No, I, I see what you're saying. Or people yeah. who have like their their go tos. There's a lot of current go to tricks that I'm really bored by too. Like I don't care about big spin front boards at all anymore. I don't care how big you do it. I just don't care. That about trick's that been trick. played for like 20 years. It's like extra played now. It's like it's like instead of front boarding, they just like do big spin front boards like the same to them. I think a trick that will never go out of style though is kick up front board. That's a good one. I agree. That's a really good. I one. agree for the most part. Watching contest footage, I don't care about it. But like when someone does it on like something relevant or tall, I'm yeah, yeah, into it, yeah. It's a good, tasteful trick. And kickflip fifty fifties, frontside or backside on rails, I'm really into. Yeah. I've always been a fan of those. Uh, who's left? Uh, Tom Penny, Ardo. That might be it. I think it's gonna say Tom Penny, and then it's like the dream thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've already watched thirty minutes of this. Yeah. Wow. And like twenty five of it, so it's talking about knowledge slides. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm gonna chop it off. So hopefully, this I mean, week. I'm gonna get shit on by the comments. People are gonna disagree with that for sure. Ha! Eight mile. <laughs> ah, gotcha. You can't talk shit on him now because he said you might. Yeah, self awareness is uh, virtue. Yeah. Because he said you might. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do it. Oh, is this fucking Tim Pool's house? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, <laughs> fucking Republican barracks. Yeah. We're trying to get the Tim Pool's warehouse. So if you're watching this. Yeah. If you guys know anyone. Yeah. If you guys have an in. Tim Pool's. <laughs> is that the fucking red pool red pill manure amp? the red pool <laughs> <laughs> they have, a, they have a backyard pool it's called the red pool yeah <laughs> that'd be so good damn fucking one footed nose manual fucking shove it me it'll touch the ground you told me about the trick I didn't watch it yet oh man <laughs> I remember seeing this and thinking, man, flip skateboards must be the worst skateboards in the world for how easy this breaks. Look at this. Not this one. This one right here. Watch how he steps on it. It just... <laughs> that right there. Right there. Dude, they did kind of break a lot. I never I never skated flip boards. Whenever I saw them in the concave, it was too like... Get, 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 get. It felt like it was like a bunch of angles instead of a smooth. Damn, dude, I never paid attention to that kind of shit until I was like 18. It just bothered my feet. I, I definitely paid attention to it. Yeah. I was, I was writing black labels, like, pretty much up until I got sponsored. Just because of the shape? I just, I don't know, I love the graphics, I love the team. It was, like, the third or fourth game you ever saw. Big Jason and Adams fan. I remember when we first saw this part when I was a kid, uh, my friend would constantly talk about it, he's like, dude, our time died twice this part. He almost died twice. And so this, the two times, evidently, is this right here, he tried to feel that crown, that rail warming up. Bro, he is out. Yeah and got tangled up or something and like fell on his head. And then the other one is him jumping across from Rock to Rock. I didn't know that that was the second one. Yeah. There was like rumors about like, oh, it was like getting Luigi in Super Mario 64. It was like, oh, what was the other slam? Is it gonna be in Really Sorry? I remember when Really Sorry came out, we expected to see the other way that he almost died. But yeah, it's evidently this. This is him. Is that Ardo? 
Yeah, evidently. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Is it Tom? Damn, no spot. Boulder. Fucking started bouldering way ahead of the time. Bouldering, yeah. Trendsetter. Who's the modern day Tom Penny? Tim Pool. Tim Pool. TP. TP. <laughs> Who is it? Is there even anyone? Uh, um, the modern day Tom Penny, someone who's like got that. Jake room. Johnson. Jake Johnson is a really good answer. Jake Johnson. Yeah. He's like really. Because he's, he's just as like. Off the radar, yeah. He was he's off, off the radar, radar but he's also like. But he rides for all the cool stuff. He's kind of like unpredictable too with his skating. Like, you, you kind of peg him as this like. He's like a gnarly wall ride guy that can skate over bumps and handrails, but then he always do, will just like pull something out of his ass. I feel like Tom Penny does the same shit. Yeah. I mean. I feel like he's just super well-rounded in general. Like, he has a lot of pop. There's a lot of old Tom Penny footage that I think would surprise the younger people. Like, some of the shit that he jumped on and put his board down. Yeah. I, and the, he has my favorite trick ever on the French double set. And it's in this video part. I uh, think it's his ender. Jake Johnson's not, not really there. modern day, now that I think about it. He's still doing stuff. I think he's just kind of like, look, you remember, Tom Penny disappeared for a bunch of years between Medic Mati or, or... That's true. Yeah, he disappeared for a bunch of years after this. That's true. Before. Before and after. Yeah. He just doesn't care to be a part of the scene. No, yeah. I he's, think he's just always been in his own world. And it's like he chose really, in escape. It's pretty cool. Yeah. No, I'm a huge fan. Front nose to fakie. Hate that trick. He's allowed to do it. I just remember, like, the rules from the older generation was, like, oh, yeah, like, you can like all the skaters that we, the older heads don't like, but you have to like Tom Penny and you have to like Mark Gonzalez. Wait, what? Like, all the older heads, like... That was like the rule. Like they would like shove Tom Penny and Mark and Dolph down that road. Oh yeah. Now I never got super into Mark and Dolph. I didn't either. That's what I was just gonna say. Not that I don't not like him, but it's yeah. like, like it's not like he put out parts after like when I started skating. He was like done putting out parts. You yeah. Know? He was, it, but like he kind of just became like a, a character to, yeah. to me. Yeah. Appreciate what he did, but. But I would hear the same stuff about Guy Mariano, and it's like, but then Guy Mariano had the fully flared part, so now, like, Guy Mariano is very much on my radar. Yeah. Yeah, he's so far, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. He's supposed to be, like, dropping another part. Um, where are these? Are these in Barcelona? That was in Long, Long Beach. Was that Belmont Shores? That was Long Beach. That, that, was, was, that was the Belmont, that's yeah, the, the Belmont, Belmont just, the Belmont yeah. 9. Yep. The Belmont 9 was That there. was there, yeah. Yeah, we, we move here and all the spots are gone. So here are the, here are the lines. Just picture how many skaters you know that could actually do these lines and grind the ledges just as far. So it's not like half cup crook, switch crook to four. I love these lines. And then I think it's front crook fakie? No, four. And he does the same line. Same line here. Don't get me wrong, super this is a version of modern day skating right now. Very tastefully put together, grinding his tricks far. Is that what people are doing right now? They're grinding they're they're grinding really long? Yeah, I think it's like long grinds and just like picking the spots. We're almost like skating spots that beg for a certain trick, I think is really cool right now. Like, hey, here's a spot, and there's only like a couple things that are possible. Do those things. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm really into where skateboarding's at right now. This is my favorite era for skateboarding, the way it is right now. Oh, man, but like, what niche of skating? There's so many niches right now. That's cool, too, though. I think it's, it's rather than... I, like, I, don't, I don't think that that's not cool. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what niche is the niche that you're talking about where you're like, oh, this is my favorite era. Maybe, I mean, I'm talking about skateboarding as a whole. I think that might be a part of it is the fact that there's so many options. Like, if someone wants to, like, be a contest skater, you can just do that now. There's, like, a lane for you to go do that. There's all these dude, contest skaters. Dude, dude, that really isn't much different back then, though, because they were making so much more money being pro skaters back then. Like, oh, no, yeah, money's not so, in skating anymore. There were so many more contests. Right yeah. now, there's only Street League in Tampa. No, there's the dance. There's a lot of contests. There's a lot of foreign contests too. Contests do are pretty big. I feel injury. like back then there was more. We had X Games. We had Tampa. Tampa X we had still Simple thing. Session. We had. That was it. You have to name one other thing besides Simple Session. So that's the only one that's not still a thing. Gravity Games would have been a one. Gravity for you to say. Games. Yeah. But I, I would say that we have now we have Border Am. There, I think there's more contests now than ever. Why, Maybe. why is this? God, I don't want to fucking get that in my video. Um. Man, but yeah, people were making so much more money skating back then. Yeah, it's fucking pretty ridiculous. Like, I think, like, yeah, what, Jeremy Rogers or someone like that? $15,000 a month from Red Bull alone. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. Yeah, yeah, pretty sick. Now, like, the top pro skaters are just maybe making $15,000 a month. Like, your top 
average guy, and maybe like the top. I don't know how many skaters are making that much. But most skaters are making yeah. even way less than that. And with, with inflation, can you it's imagine like fifteen thousand dollars back in the early two thousands? When rent was like six hundred bucks for a one bedroom. Well, you would hear oh, about yeah. like not B list pros, but like not the dudes who are like the dudes like making like twelve thousand dollars a month off their board sponsor and stuff like that. But it was way less saturated. There wasn't a hundred skateboard companies to fight for the same. There wasn't, and there was still so many people skating back then. Yeah, yeah. Where's that spot again? That's a cool trick. Switch flip manual. I agree. Dust and all flip. Dude, so there's something about like. Man, just basic tricks done really well. I'm like fucking eating my own words earlier. But yeah, you're that. right. No, I fully yeah. agree. I think, I think all the like little side things that we used to pick out in these skate videos were like, oh yeah, I really like that. I really love that. And we would sort of try to like make that shape our skating has gotten to the point where the good skaters now like that's. So let me know down below what you thought of that, whether you'd want to see anything like that ever again. Because uh, I was thinking um, Saturday is when the least amount of my audience is on YouTube. So I thought maybe I'll start just posting videos like these with different people on Saturday, just watching a skate video with someone random or more with Dale. There's like a million skate videos that we need to watch. Old ones and new ones, I think it'd be cool to watch some like newer stuff as well or like whatever drops like that week would be cool. Uh, but I do like the uh, retro throwback stuff. So let me know what you think. If not, then I won't. Uh, or if this video just does insanely bad, I won't. But if you enjoy it, maybe I will. Uh, this fun film. Thanks for watching.